Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Ford's back again with another story and I guess you guess what this could be about. I'm guessing your prediction might be about an animal because we've been talking lots about animals today. This is Tiger in my soup. I hope you had a yummy lunch. And when we check out the front to make our prediction, sometimes we look at the back to see what the back might be like and see if we can get some more clues. And I love this little boy is reading on, on his back. That's one of my favorite things to do is like at the beach or under a tree, um, pretty much reading anywhere. But sometimes I like looking up much more so than looking down. Um, the story was written by Kashmira Sheath and um, Sheath starts with an S. So there's our S from the library. Um, but we see he looks super scared. The words on the back say, will you read my book to me? It's about tigers, big hungry tigers. Tiger in my soup is a very exciting story. So without further ado, let me read it to you. Today, my big sister is in charge of the house, the lunch, and me. A hold of my book. Will you read it to me, I ask? Not now, she says. Trying to find a spot where you can see the pictures best. I look at the pictures all by myself. Downside up and upside down and front to back and back to front with my eyes open and with my eyes closed, but it's no fun doing it all by myself. Will you read my book to me, I ask again. It's about tigers, very hungry tigers. My sister doesn't answer, so I try something else. I'm hungry. Well, this time she hears. He took her um, earbud out of her ear, and that might hurt her ears. Well, my sister gives me a bowl of soup. Be careful, she says, it's hot. And while the soup cools, will you read to me, I beg? Later, she says, she's reading her own story. Oh, look at how excited he looks. <gasps> I stir my soup, something steamy puffs up a tiger. There's a tiger in my soup. I drop my spoon. I glance over at my sister, help! Arr, my sister grumbles. She hands me a clean spoon. The tiger looks really mad. I have to protect myself. I stab at him with my spoon and some tiger spit lands on my face. This means war. Sister's still in her book while I'm fighting. I launch a missile at the tiger, right on target. But where did he go? My sister looks up from her book. Why do you let your soup get cold, she asks. Here, I'll warm it up. <gasps> Look out for the tiger, but it's too late. The tiger's muffled roar rumbles from inside the microwave. <laughs> Hide, I yell, it's a big hungry tiger. Okay, my sister sighs. Where's your book? I hand it to her and she begins to read. In the hot, steamy jungle, there was a loud roar. No, 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 I say. You have to roar like a tiger. And she says, Grrr. And that's the end of the story. I eat my soup, I keep one eye on my sister, and I wonder where the tiger will show up next. All right, more adventures will continue. Stay well.